Hello, and welcome to Girl STEM Academy. In this multi-part series, we are going to learn how to code in Java. Check out our last videos on primitive variables and recursion. In this video, we will cover a commonly asked interview question regarding arrays. Be sure to watch our video on arrays if you haven't already. Let's try putting our array knowledge to use using a commonly asked question in interviews. The question is, given a number and given an array of integers, find which two elements of the array add to our inputted number. For example, say we have the array 12, 2, 8, 3, 15, and 7, and our given number is 18. Using an outer for loop, we will need to traverse the array for the first element. For each of the first elements, we will need to use an inner for loop to determine the second element. In other words, first we will start with the 12. Then we will walk through the rest of the elements. We add 12 to 2, then 12 to 8, then 12 to 3, and so on. Then we would add 2 to 8, 2 to 3, and so on. Now that we have our algorithm, let's code it. So here is the array, and as you can see, I use the second version to initialize it because I have my values ahead of time. And then this is our given value. We can use the for loop that we practiced with before. So for first equal int first equals zero, first is less than ar dot length, first plus plus. However, we have to be careful here. Our first element doesn't have to go to the end because that's what our second element will do. So we would stop our first element one index before the last element. So in other words, the outer for loop is only for the first element, so we don't have to go to the seven in this case. So our max bound is less than the length minus one. Then inside, Inside, for our inner for loop, we are using, we are going through the second element in the array. So in this case, we do want to go to the very end. However, we don't want to keep recounting, and especially we don't want to add our self. In other words, we don't want to have our first element be 12, and then again, count the 12 and add 12 plus 12. So we would start from one index past the first element. For example, if we're starting at 12, then our second element would be two. Then it would be eight, then it would be three, then it would be 15, then seven. Then our outer for loop would go to two. Then our inner for loop would do two plus eight, two plus three, two plus 15, two plus seven. Notice we don't have to do 2 plus 12 or 2 plus 2 because we've already covered the 2 plus 12 case and we don't want to add ourselves to ourselves. Now we call the elements of the array using ARR first plus ARR second. And I'm just having a variable called sum so that I can keep track of this. So as you can see, we are using our method to get each element in the array using these specified indices. So now we need an if statement that says if the sum is equal to the given value, 
which in this case is 18. Then I'm going to print out that this is the answer. And then outside of the if statement, I'm going to print each of the values, which is the first element, a space, and then the second element in the pair. So in a, the real interview, what we would probably do is just put this directly in the if statement. However, in, for this example, I want to demonstrate what's going on behind the scenes of the code. So that's why I'm printing out every single pair, but still making it clear which one of the pairs is our answer. So let's run our code. As you can see, first it starts out with 12. Then it goes through each of the other elements. So 2, then 8, then 3, then 15, then 7. Then when it doesn't find a match, meaning that when it adds 12 to each of these values, it's never equal to the given value, which in our case is 18. So then what it does is it moves on to 2. So now the first value is 2. It compares 2 to 8, 2 to 3, 2 to 15, 2 to 7, and again, none of the values add to 18. Then it does the same thing with 8, 8 and 3, 8 and 15, 8 and 7. None of the sum is, sums are equal to 18. And then it goes to 3, 3 and 15, and then we find that our answer is equal to 3 plus 15, which is 18. Thus, our two values that are needed are 3 and 15. So there you have it. This was a common interview example to show you an introduction to arrays and see them in action. In the next video, we will go over 2D arrays. Hope you enjoyed watching this video and learning about arrays in Java. If you want to see any other video from us on any topic or specific Java concept that interests you, please mention it in the comments below. Check out our other videos on the Metaverse and SQL. Please click the subscribe button to support us so we can add more content every week. Thank you for watching.